after looking at our second way which is the script mode because i initially said python coding can be done in three different ways which is the immediate mode the script mode and the id so now we'll look at the id so firstly you can just launch your anaconda that we installed in the previous video we just launch on anaconda navigator you are going to get into this so while in this you discover that there are different different tools here that you different editors that you can use to write so firstly we are going to begin jupyter lab for instance when we launch jupyter lab it's loading and it's gonna open in the browser so here it goes to the jupyter lab first we discover our installation of anaconda was successful now presently in jupyter lab when you are there initially you just take a plus and take the console since i work with python 3 so now here you can just print hello and you run So if you see there's an error now you'll be wondering that why is the error you see here very case very very case sensitive python is case sensitive so you come back here you take print you see there's no error it is green sorry so now it prints for you so you need to take note here that python is case sensitive now that's when working with um jupyter lab so that's how you can write this ipynb is an extension next thing to test another one you can go here and for instance you can use spider now it's launched as you can see it's launching spider spider might take a while yeah you can keep playing around with this You can print anything you want to print depending on you. So now you see our pi um our spider has been launched. Yeah, I've print hello world. Um, then you run, you see the output shows down here. Then for instance, you can have A equals to a number, B equals to this, then C equals to A plus B then. So the sum of one and two is, then you run, it gives you the results here so the sum of one and two is three so python is an object oriented language meaning it can model real world objects and it's also dynamically typed because it carries out type checking at the wrong time so you need to take note of that and the extension of python is the pi the other different 
um, extensions like PYC, which means it simply means compile Python code. Many people will be asking that why is it that they should learn Python? You need to know that Python is open source, it is free. Python is free, it does not require any particular subscription or a custom built platform. Thus, you need to know that any desktop and any does any leg desktop or a laptop is compatible with python and you also all the tools that are necessary for python coding the supporting means modules and libraries are absolutely free even the id is the that include pydev with eclipse spider python which we are using now can be downloaded easily for free and they are very very beneficial so that's about that also you can test uh, depending on what you want to do so you can go ahead and proceed with the other ides i want to just thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe and tune the bell for more notification on this playlist thank you bye bye